Hey everyone, welcome back to Cooking with Shotgun Red. I'm Jennifer. I'm Sheila. And if you've got some taters. And hamburger meat. Then you can make this super easy economical soup. Echo what? Okay, budget friendly. Oh, okay. <laughs> budget friendly soup. All right. It's super good. It's comfort food in a bowl. And yes. we know you are going to love it. So we got some of the stuff prepped and ready to go and laid out here on the counter. We got our onions, fresh spinach and carrots. And some green onions. Mm -mm -mm. So we got our skillet on medium heat and we've got two pounds of some lean ground beef. And we are going to add in some Worcestershire sauce, the yeah, W sauce. The w sauce. <laughs> Even hey. though I don't pronounce it, I do like it. Probably a couple teaspoons of that. I always like to add that to the meat. So then... One medium sweet onion diced up. Get all that out. Mm -hmm. Don't waste nothing. Mix that in. And we're going to let that brown up a little bit. Cover it. And once it's brown, we're going to add two teaspoons of minced garlic. I'm going to mix that around in there. Just let it simmer for about a minute. And then we got our pre-greased crock pot. And you can put a liner in if you want to. Yeah, you can use matter. a liner or pre-grease it, whatever's easy, but we always like to pre-grease it. And you have one teaspoon of garlic salt, one teaspoon of onion powder, and half a teaspoon of cumin. Pour that on. And then... Two teaspoons of salt and one teaspoon of pepper. And we're going to reserve a little bit of that. And then two teaspoons of chicken bouillon flavor. And one teaspoon of rosemary. And then we're going to add in our carrots. And our, our onion. Green onions. I always like to put green onions in soup. It really adds flavor too, you know? It does. And fresh spinach. And that shrinks too. Yeah, it does. And you could add even more than this. I mean, this is about a cup of it, but you could add more. And our sweet corn. We'll put about one cup of sweet corn in there. And this is frozen sweet corn. And our potatoes. And these are the gold potatoes. I really like the gold potatoes, but you can use any kind of potato you like. And we just cubed these up. Got them ready to go. And we're going to put those in. I like the cube because it's bite size, you know? Right. Especially for a soup. And nothing we do is in stone. No, you can, you can do whatever you want, but I like them cubed. So we're just going to mix this together. And you can see I left some of the chunks of the meat a little bit bigger. So I don't, you know, when you put that soup together and stuff and it just looks heartier. <laughs> <laughs> it Besides, does look Jim, heartier. Jimmy sees meat in that soup and he's happy. <laughs> <laughs> and then. Our chicken broth. And we're going to add about five cups of this chicken broth. And this is the lower sodium. If you guys are out there watching your sodium, you know, you can use that. And we're just going to pour that. Right on top of all this. Takes a while to get out of this box. <laughs> Just shake it. Get out of there. We're going to mix that together. And we're going to cook that on low for about six hours. But about 30 minutes before we get done, we're going to add a few more things. So we'll let that cook. So it's been in there about five and a half hours. Look at that. Look at that. Mm -hmm. All that those flavors good. and stuff. Look at that. Mm. Yummy. So I we reserved some of that salt and pepper, so I'd like to add it in now. Just sprinkle that in there. Yummy. I can't wait to try this. So then... Here comes cornstarch. And we're going to add that into about a cup of milk. 
And make a slurry out of it. And we're going to add two big tablespoons of that. That'll help thicken up the broth of this soup a little bit. So we're going to whisk that together. You don't want to pour it directly in because it's going to make it clumpy. So if you mix it and whisk it into the milk first, it'll really help. And then we'll just pour that into the soup. And that's going to change our soup color to a nice creamy color. Yeah, like magic. <laughs> <laughs> like magic. Instant creamy soup. Yeah. And we'll mix that together. And like I said, if you want it a little bit thicker, you know, you can add a little bit more cornstarch. Um, this is just two tablespoons. You know, we want this more of a soup. And then... Our shredded cheese. And this is cheddar jack cheese. And we're going to put... About two cups. A good handful. Yeah. And we're going to let this melt into this soup and flavor the soup here for about 30 minutes. So we will just mix it together and cover it up. Check it in 30 minutes and it should be ready to go. I think it's done, Sheila. Look. Ooh. Yum. Check it out. Mm. I'm ready to bowl some of this up. I know. Break out the red bowls. <laughs> I know. Look at those. Everybody likes our red bowls, they huh? They do. They always ask them, where do you get those bowls? So we, we put the link below. If you guys are interested and you want to get one of these bowls, these are great for like stew. It's awesome for stew, stew. chili. Oh, yeah. yeah. Great for chili, too. Yeah. Look at that. See, now if I hand my husband a, some of that with some meat and big carrots and potatoes like that, he's happy. He would love that one. He? <laughs> He'd be going back for two bowls. Oh, yeah, he does, too. <laughs> <laughs> Let's eat. Yum. Ready? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm no, this is good. Mm-hmm. Definitely comfort in a bowl. Yum. Very satisfying. And it's like a what? Economical. Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can put some cheese in this or sour cream, crackers, whatever you want. Um, or bread. Or anything. Or... Have some cornbread or anything like that. Rolls. and You and know, in the South, everything goes around cornbread. Everything goes around cornbread. And soup is no exception. So, well, as Steve would say, is this the best hamburger potato soup? If, if it, it ain't, ain't, it, it ought to be. be. We'll see you next time right here on Cooking with Shotgun Red. Bye. Bye. All right, let's have some more. Mom, you got to try this one. This is mm, really good. This is really good. Mmm. Well, that's she, she, and Jen, Jen, them two girls having too much fun. We hope you enjoy this recipe, and we really hope you subscribe to our channel. That's easy. Little Shotgun Red's face will pop up over here in a little bit. When you click on it, it'll say subscribe, then you're subscribed. Next to it will be a little notification bell. If you click that little bell, then YouTube will send you every single one of our recipes or a notification that we posted one as soon as it comes out. See you next time right here on Cooking with Shotgun Red. Is this the best? If it ain't, it ought to be.